I was born just before the Second World War in Bourg-en-Bresse, a small town between Lyon and Geneva. And ever since I can remember, I was always fascinated by the kitchen. I must have inherited the desire to cook from my mother. After the war, she ran several small family restaurants with names like Le Pelican, Chez Pépin, and the Hotel L'Amour. By the time I finished primary school at 13, I knew what I wanted to do. I was determined to become a chef. I can still remember perfectly the first day of an apprentice at the Grand Hotel de l'Europe in Bourg-en-Bresse. That was 50 years ago, and I've been in the kitchen ever since. Welcome to Everyday Cooking. In this series, I'd like to emphasize aspects of cooking that will help you feed yourself and your family. As a professional chef, I may go a bit faster than you do with a knife, but don't be too impressed by it. As long as it's good at the end, that's what's important. The year was 1959, and I decided to gamble and come to America. My luck paid off right away when I got a job working for Chef Pierre Frenet at Pavillon, New York's most famous restaurant. But then came along Howard Johnson. He offered Pierre the job as a VP, and I went along to become the director of research and development. And this is the way they did it at Howard Johnson. The way I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go! <laughs> I think he bring cooking to uh, another level, particularly when he was cooking with Julia Child. Both of them, they are so funny. A turkey that is made just the way you are. It has the shoulders and the knees and the hips. But if you think of that, you I won't get you so mixed up. I think you look better than a turkey, you know. We got something better than that, Jack. Oh, that. <laughs> Where did you steal it? He's one of the best teachers in the world. When he came here, uh, everybody loved to say hello to him. Everybody loved to talk to him. He gave advice to the, to the student. He loved to make flour with butter. So for him, butter is a garden. That man is full of talent. He knows how to write. Like a Connecticut Yankee, you know. He paints fantastically. When we have a menu, he makes beautiful things. And he knows how to cook. Everything he's doing is true. This is it. Simple, clear, and true. He's a Renaissance man. Happy cooking.